Hey there, Boots Owen here. This is a Beko washing machine, but this advice should work for pretty much any washing machine. If you've gone down and tried to open the lint filter down on the bottom, in here, you might have opened this little door like this, and in here you'll find a little hose and a little knob. And if we open this one up, I think there's water in this one. They can be very stiff, and if you can't open them, sometimes getting a stick, a piece of wood on each side, then grabbing that and twisting it gets them off. Now, I don't think there's anything in here. But what people have reported is that sometimes they break off the handle. They've asked me in the comments, what, what do you do in that case? Well, if you've broken the handle, you're kind of out of luck. Normally what happens is, in this little hole here on the left there could be something like a hair clip or a key sticking out and it catches against one of these pieces of plastic here and that prevents you from opening it now some of them also have it front separate to a back i presume that was what was in some of the questions here so the front spins independently and the back just goes in and stays in position whereas this one the whole thing turns together Till it's tight so on some other ones like this one the front spins independently of the back so the back slides in and then the front turns and if you pull the front off the back then the back is stuck and it depends on the model you've got but you're in a bit of a pickle if the back is stuck inside and you can't see it i don't think this one is the best example but uh imagine that there's no handle on it and you can't get a grip so what would you do in that case So I've just screwed it up fast there. Let's say it's genuinely broken and there's no handle on it. What can I do to get in there? You can buy a whole new pump and replace the pump and the front. And to do that, you have to get in underneath or I think, yeah, I think just from underneath on this machine. Let's take a look in underneath. So now with the machine on its side, we're looking in from underneath. This is the back of the pump. This is the hose that comes from the bot body of the washing machine tub down to the pump. That's the hole in the side where I said clips might get caught. This is the little rubber hose that you can use to drain off the water when you're cleaning the filter before you open it. And then in here on the bottom, the gray hose is the drain out hose where the water will get pumped out. So on this model, I can see that there's a couple of screws holding this on, this pump body on from the front. But if we come around the front, we can't find the screws because they're hidden under the front fascia. So I'm not sure, I believe it's probably possible to remove the front panel and change the pump from the front without removing the machine. You've got to take off all of the screws around the top, but you also have to take off these screws at the bottom. So you would have to get access to the bottom of the machine. And as you can see on this one, they're pretty rusty, which is going to make your life miserable. That's what we're dealing with. So if we don't want to damage any of this plastic work in the back, we're going to have to get in from the front and just replace the plug. So I've got the machine upright again. Let's go back in here for a look. I think when it's tight, what some people do is they grip it with the pliers and they snap off this bit. I'm going to struggle to do it now, but they, they snap that off and then there's nothing left to get a grip of. Now, because this one's not particularly tight and there's nothing blocking it, in theory, I could get a grip like that, but let's say we're stuck. What do you do then? Well, I've got a drill here with a drill bit. I'm just going to try drilling gently a couple of holes on opposite sides of the handle. And then I could put a needle nose pliers in like that and twist it out. Now it's destroyed. The front of the plug is destroyed. And so we're only doing this because it's already been destroyed and we're not going to make it any worse. We still have to buy a replacement plug, but the replacement plug is cheaper normally than a replacement pump. So we're in there like that. Let's say it won't turn because something's stuck in there. Normally what you'd have to do, and if you, if you have a handle on it still, you can do this with the handle on it. It's the first instance. And I've posted other videos on machines that are, have filters that are hard to open. Start twisting it like this. Any little twist at all is better than nothing. And once it starts twisting, you can try and jiggle it out. Now, if it really won't come, it really won't come. So at that point, You need to be careful not to go in too far so that you don't 
drill through anything in behind. Now, I can get a grip. What I'm trying to do here is to snap off some of the front. Bigger pliers here now. Let's say I get off about that much there, about half. I can see inside a little bit better. And if there was a key or something in there, in on the left, I could get my needle nose pliers in, pull it out. But I would still have enough room then to come back and unscrew it like this. Bit of sand in there now. I don't remember that being there before. There you go. Perhaps this was helpful. You still have to replace the um, filter plug with this method, but uh, if that's where you are in the process and you've already broken the front off it, that's where you are and you're gonna have to do that anyway. Questions or comments, please leave them below. If you enjoyed this video or if it was helpful, give us a thumbs up and think about subscribing. Thanks for watching. See you later.